So, Johnny, here we are in Bath at the Skeleton Bob track. And there is no ice at all here. There never has been, there never will be. They don't need it. It's an all-weather. And the thing about it is that it doesn't look very steep here. No. But it is. It is very steep. And at the bottom, we can get up to like 30 to 40 kilometres an hour. But then we've got to stop, which we're going to do with the help, hopefully, of a bungee. Yes, and with the help as well of an Olympic gold medalist, oh. Amy Williams. You're right, Amy, how are you? Hello, Amy, how are you? Good, Good to see you. So what's this here? So this is the skeleton track that I train on all summer. OK, Amy, we're all yours. Good. OK, so first things first, get you into the sprint start position. Okay. Oh, you're looking good. Thanks, mate. <laughs> Do I get on my knees first or not? You will be trying to lie from your chest first. But to be honest, you'll just land how you land. Oh, look at you. OK, and then <laughs> <laughs> your hands down by your side, right. grabbing onto the hand got it. as hard as possible. Got You're it. going to keep your head up <laughs> and your feet up. I've got cramp in my hamstrings already. What's that about? That's just unfitness. Do we wear what we're wearing at the moment? Um, I've got a special surprise for oh, you. Oh, not another outfit. Chris. What? Why are you on the phone? I'm on the phone to my agent, Johnny. This is one outfit too far. Yeah, I can appreciate that. Let's go. Yeah, look, about this outfit. I can't keep a straight face, but you look great. Thanks. <laughs> I mean, you've seen some male athletes in these costumes before, but nothing like this before, I shouldn't imagine. Look at that. No, you're right, definitely cool. unique. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so we're going to get Sarah, our skeleton athlete, to demonstrate. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Hi Sarah. So, I want you to watch how she starts, how she holds it, and just familiarise yourself with it. All right. Brilliant. Wow. Who's first? Can I go first? I don't mind. Go on! This looks a bit small for me. I've got quite a big head. Can you hold this one, please? Yes. Suddenly things are less scary when I can't see. <laughs> Welcome to my world. <laughs> wow, <laughs> we. So, to get into your start position, one foot on the block, walk through it a few steps, and then lie down. What's this way? You can't stop! <laughs> so, we step, step, step on your outside leg, push, and then lie down. I will push you off and you can go down and just get the sensation of what it actually feels like. That was very pleasurable. It was like Alton Towers without the cost or the cues. Since he's been here, he's discovered all these new noises that humans aren't supposed to make. <laughs> it's amazing. It looks, it's really quite quick because when you're that close to the ground, and we did it without even pushing off. OK, so we're going to do a few steps. What? Then you're going to get on. You want me to push myself and get on it? Yes. You want me to do what you do? Yeah, I think it's about time. You're ready. <laughs> to be honest, they're really, really equal. I think it's going to be hard. Whoever's brave enough to push the quickest and to push the hardest will win. Very proud of you. Thank you, you so both much. Did very very well. well. Cheers. The results I have here. One of you did a 7.217. Oh. The other one did a 7.095. Johnny. Oh, oh no! Oh. Congratulations. Oh. That's a surprise, I have to say. He you says that every time he wins. Well, it is a surprise. So after 15 sporting challenges, <laughs> it's now Johnny 9, Chris 6. That was so winnable.